Hi, this is Shane Morton with IndieExpress.com, and I am here with Rob Williams, writer, director of the feature film Role Play. Hi, Rob. Thanks for joining us today. Hi. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit uh, about the movie and how you came up with the idea. Uh, well, the movie is called Role Play, and it's about a, uh, a, re- a soap opera actor who's been recently outed in the press because of a sex tape. And he goes to Palm Springs to kind of hide out, and he runs into a gay marriage activist who's going through a nasty divorce in the press. So they're both basically hiding out from press coverage, and so it's really all about fame and celebrity and and how the press treats gay celebrities. And um, so, you know, they work through their issues and, and perhaps have some personal issues as well. What inspired you uh, to write the script? Uh, you know, I just I, I've just been always fascinated with how um, the the media treats gay celebrities, what how the gay press treats um, gay movies and gay celebrities and gay books and you know gay arts of all sorts. So it was just one of those things that I had a lot of ideas about that, and so I tried to put it all in one. And so it's a very very talky, very dialogue heavy movie, um, just about a lot of ideas which I thought would be something very different um, to do, as opposed to just the traditional boy meets boy um, falling in love story. Now, when you were producing the film, I know that w- we had talked a little bit earlier about using uh, indie a go go and Kickstarter to kind of work with completion funds and all that kind of stuff with with the film. How is that process like for you? Because I know that a lot of filmmakers are trying it right now, and some are being extremely successful, and some... Uh, are finding it a little more challenging. What was it like for you? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was it was very successful. We um, we used Kickstarter and Indiegogo for for different things, and we offered different rewards for various things. So you know, some people were just pre-ordering the DVD, um, but that helped us have some some production budget. Um, some people were you know buying other items or getting you know special rewards and it was it was really interesting because we got a lot of more interaction directly with our fans and I think that's why people like it because you're not putting your movie out there and then the distributor sells it to Amazon and Amazon sells it to the, to the company it's like you're actually hearing directly from the people who want to support you which is really rewarding and people um, are very complimentary and very supportive of filmmakers and so that's why I think people are gravitating towards it, just because you get that direct interaction that you don't get any other way. Uh, tell us a little bit about shooting the film. I know you shot in Palm Springs. How how long did you shoot, and how was the uh, the shoot in general? Uh, the shoot was wonderful. We shot at the Alexander Inn in Palm Springs, and we shot it over eight days, which is very short. But it was because we were all in one location. We had a very small cast. Um, and the inn, of course, is so beautiful that it was, you know, its own uh, pers- uh, character in the film, really. Um, and it was it was a lot of fun, mainly because the two lead actors, um, Steve Callahan and Matthew Montgomery, are just so wonderful. They're good friends of mine. They're a real life couple, and so working with them was just a dream. I mean, they would show up for every scene and just nail it and you know then on our day off we all got to sit around the pool in palm springs so people really like that was this their first time on film together uh no they were both in pornography a thriller um but just briefly and they've done some plays together and web webisodes and things but this is their first leading uh roles together first first romantic leading roles together how was the process like working with them? I mean, they're so extremely comfortable with each other, I would think, at this point. that How, how was that that process like for you? Being, I, I know that they, uh, Matthew is one of your producing partners also. So how was that juggling him as producer and actor? It was great. I mean, he Matthew was such a professional. He was doing all of the producer work whenever we needed him to do that. And then whenever he needed to be an actor, it's like, okay, let me go prepare for that. Um, and he's great. And the great thing about Matthew and Steve working together is that, um, you know, they had all of their lines down because they had, you know, been at home rehearsing together for weeks and months. And so uh, they're so comfortable together and there's no kind of issues of, you know, boundaries or kind of, you know, meeting someone for the very first time and having to do an intimate scene together. You know, they knew each other. And so it was very, very easy for them to just kind of 
do whatever needed to be done for the scenes. So you've started working on uh, with the film, putting it out there, doing what's called work in progress screenings. You've had, I think you said you had three of them. What made you decide to kind of go that way with the film, and what 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 did you learn from it? Like what what was the to- the reason you kind of did it? Well, what, it started out at with uh, one film festival, the uh, Q Cinema in Fort Worth, contacting me and saying, you know, we heard you have a new film out. You know, what is it about? Could we get it for the festival? And I was like, well, we're going to be shooting it a month before your festival, so we, it's not going to be ready in time. And so they came up with the idea of, well, what if you did a test screening? And I loved the idea. So f- a month after we started shooting, we were showing a work in progress screening in Fort Worth. And once another festival heard about that um, down in Tampa, they said, oh, could we do that too? And what was great was that we got really good feedback from people. And, you know, most big Hollywood films get test screenings and you, you learn what people like and learn what people don't. And most indie films probably don't get that. So this was a really remarkable way for us because we've never done it before to get that early feedback and to make a lot of edits based on that and you know it really did affect how we cut the film so a lot changed from screening to screening and to the to what you now have i guess is the finished film for 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 here yeah it, it's i don't it's hard to say how much changed because we were always kind of working all along but you know there's a lot of really good feedback about what they liked, what they didn't like, and a lot of things, a lot of feedback that we got was what we didn't want to see. And so, you know, we were, some things we were going to add or things we were going to do, and people would say, you know, I don't think you need that. Or, and they would volunteer. It's like, I'm glad that this isn't in the film. I'm not going to get into all the details, but it was, you know, something that was really helpful because we thought we needed to do certain things, and people were basically telling us, no, go with your gun instinct. You don't need that, which was nice. Uh, so is the film being released by uh, your usual uh, release people, or is that still pending at this point? Uh, all of our distribution plans are pending at this point. Um, we're, so, we're talking to some people. We may self-distribute. We're not sure. Um, you know, we already have distribution in one foreign territory that I, I can't really announce yet, but... Um, you know, we're getting a lot of interest, which is great, and, and uh, we've been playing a lot of film festivals uh, after Outfest, so we're really, really looking forward to it. Your films always do, and they're always wonderful. Make the Yuletide Gay was one of my favorite films of last year, uh, and uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and we look forward to, uh, to seeing what comes next. Do you ha- have any idea what you're doing next? Uh, absolutely. We, uh, two things. We want to make, uh, make the Yuletide Gay too which is in development. And then we also have a uh, project called The Mystic Chord, which is based on a novel called Van Allen's Ecstasy, uh, which uh, we just recently won uh, a screenwriting award at Newfest for the script, for unproduced scripts, um, which is great. We're going to have a, a stage reading in New York for that sometime this year uh, from Newfest. And that's really exciting. It's a very dark film, which would be very different for, for what I do, but I'm really looking forward to that. Well, as always, Rob, we look forward to seeing whatever you do. And uh, congratulations. This has been Shane Morton from IndieExpress.com with writer-director Rob Williams from the feature film Roleplay.